There we go. Good evening, friends, and welcome back to the channel. And it's new game night again. Tonight we are revisiting F197. Could be a classic, could be a nostalgia trap. And I guess we will soon find out. Hello, Apaka and Paragliber. Welcome in, guys. Yeah. So I've identified two things I think I need to beat for a complete of this. Do a Champo season. And arcade mode looks like a proper mode. So we'll do that too. I also noticed Time Attack did have a bit of structure to it, so I am considering it. Considering it. Played this yesterday. Oh, okay, so you know what I'm getting into. I do still have this game from my youth, even though I'm playing emulated now. I do have it on disc. Not sure I ever watched this intro. <laughs> I think I was too impatient with the e start button. Going through every F1 game, that sounds like a big job. Oh, that was a bit underwhelming, that intro. It felt like it was just about to build up to something. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, we have arcade mode. Easy, medium, and hard. Time attack also has easy, medium, and hard. Like, normally time attack is literally, in these games, it's literally just pick a track, set a lap, and it, the often won't even have a lap for you to beat. But this has all that. Got the Grand Prix mode. Where we can do a Champo. Let's have a look who we've got. Sean Lacey, Gerhard Berger, Johnny Herbert, Nicola Lavini, and Sauber, Schumacher and Irvine and Ferrari. Alice and Shinji Nakano. Like a few of these names I haven't heard in years. Truly was in Minardi. Yukio Katayama. Ralph Schumacher and Giancarlo Fisichello. Of course, this was the year before Hill moved to them. Barrichello and Magnussen. I think that was the first season for Stewart as well. Damon Hill, Pedro Diniz. Not the right Pedro. Akinem and Coulthard. And of course, everyone's favourite, driver Juan Williams. <laughs> With Heinz Harold Frensen. Jos Verstappen and Vincasalo. I don't... Yeah. There wasn't this year. Pedro de la Rosa. It's too early. Hit the... <laughs> I think I'm actually, though. Let's have a look what we got. Short, medium, long, half full. Novice amateur rookie. Five difficulties. Damage. Hmm. Plenty to customize. But I'm actually going to start with Arcade. But we might jump back and forth. Okay, so Benetton's the all-rounder. Williams has a bit of extra grip for a bit less break. McLaren's all speed. Arrow's terrible top speed. Stewart, terrible grip. Jordan's a bit more balanced. Minardi, low speed and grip. Good acceleration and brake. 
Hmm. That Ferrari doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, no, no, no. Speed's okay. Yeah, Ferrari's all top speed. How did that compare? I wish these were a bit easier to compare. You know what? No, no, no. No, no, no. That's so hard to choose. <laughs> Brilliant brakes on the tilt. Yeah, that, that's a not, no go. Mm. Just average everywhere, isn't it? McLaren. Go speed. I didn't look at the controls. But my gear shifts because I went manual. L1, R1, that's fine. Way! Why did my gear end up in gear one? Is it because I hit something? So do I just need to beat the timer on this or is it timer and the win? Oh no, we've got look back on the pressing of the stick. Which means I accidentally look back when I accidentally press. That's very arcadey handling. What the piss is going on? The gearing is wild. I should have gone manual. I mean, auto, auto, sorry. <laughs> hey, slots. Oh. Well, give us a chance. I've only done two laps. I'm in the arcade mode. And the handling is, it lives up to the name. But it's fine so far. The gearing is mad, but that's probably an arcade mode thing. So I need to get back onto automatic gears as soon as I can.
I know some other games, I don't, I don't think they've done it here, but some other games actually use sprites for the tires to get around the hexagon. Oh, you've been censored for a second there, thank you for the bits. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Boy. Just kind of fly over cars instead of crashing into them. I assume that's an arcade mode thing. Along with this wild steering. <laughs> yep. Hey, twist it. No, this is arcade mode. Murray's in the Grand Prix mode. You need banging music for arcade mode, and that has been enforced. I would never turn Murray off. <laughs> yeah, the handling in the arcade mode is silly. <laughs> Where do you think the key gens got their music from, Slops? They probably uh, <laughs> ripped it directly off the PS1 disc. Ah, oh, I'm in first. How nice. Instead of Foster's, it says faster. That's amazing. <laughs> Man, F1 GP. I don't think I played that one. Jeff Crammon's first one. I remember, yeah, my brother had that on his Atari. I was terrible at it because I was used to racing games being like, you know, the Mega Drive kind of spritey driving into the screen ones. I couldn't get, I couldn't wrap my head around true 3D. Okay, so we've unlocked Silverstone. Good. Get off the fat. Where's options? Where's controls? 
to any editing of controls in this game. I want to turn off left stick pressing being look back. I've lost chat. Brilliant. Hold on. Completely lost chat. One minute. And I'm back. <laughs> Patched it to run at 25 FPS. What What did it run at? Like 12? <laughs> That's crazy. But it checks out. It checks out with my memories, that. Our kids these days don't know they were born with their 120 FPS, <laughs> whatever they like to use. Fucking drifting in this is ridiculous. <laughs> now the sport you need is rally cross slops. Or it has all of them. Well, I want never gets, okay. I don't know, Bally Cross cars do definitely take damage. <laughs> wow, that's me told, isn't it? Especially now the electric as well. They just launch, don't they? I really want to go to a rallycross weekend. But Lyddon Hill is in fucking Kent. Are they even doing Lyddon Hill this year? The World Rallycross Championship. I made that exact pun about the game rally cross slots. You know what these arcade modes? Like, if the condition for winning in arcade mode is being first and you get first with laps to go. It should just 
end the race at the end of the next lap. Right, you're that good. Let's just end this charade. There was one game on the PS1 that did that. It wasn't an F1 game. It might have been Firebugs. Oh! It was Micro Machines did it as well. Cool. Okay, I think I've got the hang of this arcade mode for the faster corners now. Just the slow stuff. But we're getting there. That's a good point. When this game is beaten, the vote ends. So option one, as a recap, Supercross 2001. Going to take a hell of a comeback if that's going to win. Hey, Dadson. This one's uh, started out simple. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, option two is Ducati World Racing Tour, I think it's called. In second place, but very close to first. In first place, we have uh, Road Rash. Honestly, th this vote period has been that long. Road Rash Jailbreak. Yeah, winning by about three votes. But yeah. Hi, Dadson. Yeah, there's no... No arcade mode bullshit so far, which is always welcome, but we wait and see. Been doing more, been playing with your ring a bit more, I see. Emma, how appropriate. Once you've streamed in 2020, have you streamed in 2024 slots? Okay, no worries, man. Okay. You should stream Wonderboy 3, the Dragon's Trap slots. That's a great game. <laughs> it's a Master System one twisted, but it had an absolutely brilliant uh, remake about five years ago with 
proper beautiful hand-drawn sprites and everything. It's fantastic. Oh, it's got the chicane. Oh, I forget about that in the old versions of Imola. <laughs> wow. Evening. Evening, Robin. Thank you very much for the resub, mate. As you can see, I'm power sliding F1 cars. In Burnley, what could you be doing there? Pancake, gosh, Not exciting. <laughs> well, fun fact, Dadson, they're optional in the Grand Prix mode as well on this. They're just not the least. That's uh, particularly funny in Australia, which has all the tarmac runoff. <laughs> I, I, my impression slops was that it was rendering the wheels before the car body and we were just seeing the wheels I'll have another look next time we see some cars but it might be the next race now Well, it's completely silly for a Formula One car, this handling, arcade handling model is actually reasonably fun once you start getting the knack of it as he goes directly off track. I've got that to look forward to. It's on the list somewhere, not been, not been such a... It took us an awful long time to get an F1 game in the challenge, the random game selection. It just, just denied us for ages. But I think this is the fourth now.
<laughs> Hi, Eskin. Your nose is uh, very sensitive, I see. The way they've overlaid the kind of settings menu there just makes it look watermarked. <laughs> well done. Finish the easy mode and then I'll make a start on the championship season. Oh no, I might just soldier on with this while it's going fine. Watch out if you've not seen this again in the salo of the spoil on spin right now. Nice one. Sector 3 do we have on this version? Old school one. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Whoa. I just let let off the um, accelerator slightly because I thought I was going to understeer off and just, just pings the other way. Really depends on the game slots. Oh, bugger. So, okay, I'm familiar with the old bus stop. Uh, like I say, fourth F1 game of the challenge. Although with this handling model, yeah, point, point, take it.
Yeah, the only thing for me is that I think the wheels stick out a bit more than they did. But I know F198, though, the cars went a lot narrower anyway, so it might just be because I'm more used to narrower cars rather than them being too sticky out, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's looking good. I never really used to touch arcade mode on these games. I'd just, I'd just be straight off into the Grand Prix mode. I don't believe there is, Dadson. I don't recall seeing one in any F1 game from the like, PS3 era onwards. which would be 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, and 19, I think I had. But I haven't played one. I haven't played any since. Yeah, Cody Zero Twisted. Exactly that. Um, and no pain yet. As you can see with my collection of firsts. The handling is silly, but enjoyable. I mean, the thing is, I always used to assume an arcade mode was basically like a single race mode slot, so I wouldn't even give them the time of day. No, this is the drifty one. Definitely. That, that chicane's a lot shallower than I'm used to. Yeah, I think in F198, the handling was the same in arcade and season mode. It was just the uh, game structure that was different. Ah! If you get clipped by another car like that, it just kills your drift. Yeah, it's fine visually. It's good. I don't think F198 was particularly... Well, the road was a bit crap. F198 was more just bland as opposed to outright bad. Yeah. 
you know, a bit a bit more stuff by the track to give a sense of speed, stuff like that would have helped a lot. But the handling's crap in 98 anyway, so doesn't matter. Slow more for that one, or do I? Do I just take the hit and go? Yeah, decent looking car. Apart from when you look at it backwards, the rear suspension just attached to air. <laughs> F1 has jumps occasionally. I was going to say Mark Webber at Valencia. I don't like look back being on L3. I've said this a couple of times already. I remember Road Rash 3D had it as well, and I thought the game was broken. I didn't realize L3 was a thing. <laughs> What do you mean, Dadson? Oh, R3 does nothing in this. You know what L3 and R3 is, don't you? When you press the stick, like a button. Yeah. Kids these days.
Yeah, it is that. Well, you know, you're there already. I'm having to use my right thumb for Square and X, but also D-pad down is look back, which is much smarter when you're using the stick. But yeah, it's you know how it is with racing games. That stick is liable to get placed, uh, pressed accidentally, isn't it? Supoi! You have completed the easy levels in just over half an hour. You have a new Hisco already. <clears throat> Face buttons weren't analog on PS1. It was uh, PS2 when pressure sensitive buttons came in. Now try the medium levels. Oh, credits, game done, game done. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not done. <laughs> I've completed easy mode, Dadson. Time for credits. You know, most games you never saw credits because they'd lock it behind an impossible hard mode. <laughs> Right. Oh, they put snuck a bonus track bottom at the bottom there. All right, Sakayama. Let's go. Hey, madam. It should. Maybe it wasn't licensed because it's a bonus track. Did did they even have Ida? in 1997? I don't think we did. Right. But was it in the previous F1 game? And is that why they've just snuck it in as a bit of a bonus? Right. So, yeah, it would have been easy for them to sneak that in. Hey, what well, Let's turn one and two. Wait, have they fantasied this up? Ah, oh, shit. I think this is mirrored. Ah, they've mirrored the name as well. Right. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, it's it's mirrored. Caught me out there. We went off the start and, uh, you know, I have this track in eye racing and I know that the first corner's not on left. What even is F1? It's the Class of Kings. Now nah, it's a bonus track, slops. It it's it it gets a pass. <laughs> I mean if you're gonna go to the effort though of putting in a track that wasn't in this season. It is a bit weird to mirror it. Hmm. 
Well, this arcade mode is very unusual handling. Makes it feel go karty. No, it doesn't. It's too slidey. It's more like Ridge Racer. A trap. Mm, more greasy than floaty. But yeah, we've not done the, like, air quotes, simulation mode yet. Which uh, will handle completely differently, I'm sure. Just in the wall, a hit on Saturday, Dadson. Boff, that was a big one. <laughs> Ended my race. It was six minute tow and 16 minute repairs. Very rare I've had a repair bill that big. About 22 minute total. Just, we just gave up. <laughs> ah, piss. But we'd we were kind of out of the race already. We'd already had two repair bills. And we were like half an hour off the leader. And we're kind of just keeping going for keeping going sake, you know. So, yeah. At that point, it's like, yeah, it's 2 a.m. I'm off to bed. <laughs> oh, God, I keep clipping the other cars. How did I crash? Um, oh, what's the section called? So in, it's like about a third the way into the lap. You have a, a left-hand high-speed kink that goes into a really slow, twisty section. And because race was kind of over, I was just pushing and trying to learn where I could go faster. Make the most of the time, have some fun. And went over that curb harder than I had and just kind of lost it on landing. I think my issue was that I normally downshift before I take that curb, but I, I downshifted on it, which may, which meant the throttle blip went in as I was landing, and it just spat me into the nearest wall. So yeah, it is what it is, and you know, doesn't mean like I say we we weren't fighting for anything, so it's fine. Right. May as well carry on, eh? Mr. Bill. How familiar am I with this one? Wasn't 1997, or no, it was 1999 where they had the three-way tie for pole position, wasn't it? Or was it 97, end of 97? I think it was. Ah, Hareth. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is Esteril in the season mode for this shadow? Looks fairly standard. Mm, yeah, it's like mostly medium speed corners, this one, I think. It's not one I've raced a lot in other games. Ah, okay. Right. Ah. Oh. 
And he's start to stop launching myself off the AI. So I'll launch himself off the wall instead. It's fine. <laughs> Right, that's what you're referring to about the chicane. Noted. Lola. <laughs> To be fair, they only participated in one race's practice sessions, didn't they? <laughs> and were hilariously off the pace, failed to qualify. They showed up to the next race, but didn't even make it onto the track, didn't they? Something like that. But they got done a bit dirty by MasterCard, if, a, if the story of Red is true. I think Rossett was one, I don't remember the other. You have to look it up. You don't have to, but you know, to find out you probably will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That Patrese was the main source of James Hunt's ire, if I remember correctly, because he blamed him for another driver's death. I think actually, uh, Ross, it would have been too late for James Hunt. James Hunt would have already passed away by that point. Timer's still not close to being expired, but I'm now crossing checkpoints with like 30 seconds remaining instead of 50. Suspir, I never even heard of him. Right, if you ask me before saying that, what sport is Vincenzo Suspiri famous for? Been a wild guess. It's the last track, Monaco. Uh, we can find out, skin. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm. 
suddenly obsessed with the idea of Italian snooker somehow being different to standard snooker, but I don't know what what changes that would actually entail. What so Lola had the top two of the previous year's Formula Three thousand or or the Formula Three thousand of two years ago. Ah, but skin. I don't see it. However, so we got Nurburgring, Hungara Ring, Manicore, Monster in Medium. Monza in Medium, that's an easy difficulty track. And Hard, Suzuka, Buenos Aires, Svar, Interlagos, Halef. I was just about to get onto that shadow because over here we had a secret track that we unlocked. So, five pounds on um, the hard mode, secret track being Monaco reversed and Mirror reverse, or something like that. All the belt balls are red, red, white, and green. Okay. I'm sure I can think of something better than that. As you saw in F1 that year, I do not know my way around that track, Shadow. <laughs> That's a good question. Does any game have a full Norge life on the PS1? Yeah, good point, Shadow. You got the mini Le Mans in the Le Mans game. <laughs> Ever played a PS3, that ancient piece of hardware? Oh my god. Every viewer's heart just broke with that comment. Slops. <laughs> the race at last three days. What, Le Mans? It's 24 hours. <laughs> PlayStation 1 from 1800s or something, he probably thinks. <laughs> But of course, the little ones, they will not have an idea of how long a console usually lasts for. And generation, console generations are kind of ending anyway, aren't they? Because they're now just uh, kind of closed box PCs, really. And maybe they did that many... Um, that many prototypes trapped before they got something they felt they could release. Yeah, uh, three drivers trading off, that's typical for Le Mans, three driver teams.
<laughs> yeah, I wonder how they did get the 2600 or whatever the number was. Maybe they went to... Maybe they asked one of the developer's kids, what's the highest number you can think of? And you know how kids are stupid? They said 2600. They went, it'll do. <laughs> Is it the VCS? I don't know. It's very rare I can say this. But it is before my time. <laughs> Clinging on to youth. Same age as me, Shadow. <laughs> that is definitely something I have said, Skin. Repurposing boards, what, to downgrade them? That's madness. Wouldn't it be just cheaper to sell you a better console? Cheaper. Rather than actually spending money on labour to make them crapper. Oh, wait, have I got the numbers the wrong way around? Ah, I give up. About a month until the next round figure. Okay. All right, Grandad. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, backward compatibility might encourage the repurposing. Wow. Good old Atari in their 80s business sense. <laughs> Let's print more copies of E.T. than there are consoles. Thank you, 64. I don't think I've ever been in there yet, Slots. Or is that the place that used to be the TV lounge? Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Entertainment Chief.
Yeah, there's another gaming bar that used to be the TV lounge, I think, or something. Northern Quarter. And they got like consoles at all the tables in there. I just kind of go, I could do this at home, what, play consoles while drinking booze? Yeah. Well, no, this is, the, with this particular venue, it was the consoles at tables, it wasn't cabs. Dave and Busters, I don't know that. You like companies that take risks? Hmm, yeah, but there's different types of risks. You know, there are certain risks where you can look at them from a mile off and go, that's a fucking dumb idea. Crazy fest. I don't know where you're based, Trav, but here in, um, around here we've got a place called Arcade Club where it's like 18 quid to get in and three stories of classic arcade cabinets, um, like 80s, 90s, 2000s, plus some Japanese curiosities. Just 18 quid in, unlimited use on all of them. Really good time. Best time to go is Friday night because that's the no stupid kids allowed night. The crazy fest guy's putting gigs on in his computer shop. Is that what the post about liking cooking and Pokemon was about? Is this because he got barred from the one place in Wigan that would put on his gigs? So he's like, right, well, <laughs> I'll just have to have my own venue then. I'm going to have to tell the crazy fest story, aren't I? Sorry, I've missed a comment here. Okay, so last year, this fella who has like a computer parts online store decided that he wanted to put on a music festival. And um, his business plan was simply to have people buy tickets, see how much money he'd got, and then he'd book bands. And he was pushing ahead with it, going full beans. But no one gave a shit. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I'm really struggling here, Slops. It, he's just banging on. He, get, he, he was mostly getting people saying, bail out of this. You're going to put yourself in poverty. Like people who put on festivals because he went a bit viral. Yeah, £50 tickets for Battle of the Band bands. 
with camping, uh, renting out sports halls, and then he tried to hire the centre of a horse race course. He bought a cry cut machine to produce all the tickets manually himself. And it was just an acid trip. <laughs> yeah, he was. And the reason it would always fall apart is because he couldn't access the money for tickets that he hadn't sold anyway to pay anything up in up front. The thing is he tried to do it again. Are you still not giving up on the idea of his crazy fest? Oh, this year's fell through because he didn't get a tax rebate in time. I assume to which he needed to pay the deposit on the race course. Oh. Uh, reverse. Ah, circle is reverse. Normally you hold down brake. Ah, this is the bit of the story I wanted to get to. So a lot of people said, you know, you've got to start small. Start with gigs at a local bar. Things like that. And um, so he put on a Battle of the Band gig at a local bar. He got a bunch of bands to play. I think about five people showed up to watch. And he got himself barred from the venue when he got himself absolutely wasted at this event he was hosting. I think um, there was some nose candy involved. And he then lost his lap, misplaced his laptop, accused the venue of stealing it, then tried to attack a bouncer <laughs> and got himself barred at an event that he was hosting. <laughs> Oh, it, yeah, insane. Absolutely mental. And then found his laptop because it was, you know, where he left it. I wasn't there, Shadow. I wouldn't go to one of his events. I can... He barely asked to go to good events these days, so. <laughs> oh, there was the weird videos he used to put up after getting shit faced when he was, because loads, like, he was getting torn to shreds online. He'd get himself drunk and start replying to all the comments in long videos. Like while he slurred all his words and just sat there looking sweaty and topless. <laughs> oh no! The uh, the ticketing payments module slots. He used AI to generate code for a secure payments module for his tickets. And shock horror, it didn't work. Because AI is basically a best guess software system, especially over a year ago. And then he hired a programmer on Fiverr to fix it up. Ah, oh, shit. God, what else happened?
I mean, a lot of it just caught our attention for the cringe factor. The way he described, like, fields full of thousands of people all going mad for fist-pumping metal and things like that. And it's like, you couldn't even get 10 people to a gig at a local pub. Right, every time I'm going in too hot to that chicane. But the break is more for causing power slides and slowing down in this arcade mode, which is a problem when you actually need to slow down. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. I mean, enthusiastic. It's probably uh, the end of the positive promoter qualities. But there's a, just like just generally in the northwest, and this is something I found out very quickly when I was in a band, is that you know music like anything else is a supply and demand thing. When it comes to underground metal, there's a lot more supply than demand. You know? Being successful is very difficult. Got laughed out of the room by Skindred. <laughs> I doubt he could have afforded free drinks. <laughs> Remember, this guy was reliant on being able to access the money from ticket sales before booking bands. He couldn't afford a case of beers. I think I'm going to fail this one because every time I've smashed up at the hairpin. Yep, that's gone. Whee! Cool. That's 50 grand income for a thousand fifty quid tickets. And he won. Well, initially, he wanted a big outdoor festival. And then he got downgraded to the uh, sports and community center thing. Okay, it's unlocked Monza. Apparently that was good enough. I don't know. Was it good enough? Better improve it, just in case. No worries, madam. I'm sorry to hear you're feeling ill. Right, how early do I need to start breaking here? Before the 100 meter board and don't clip an AI. Twenty six thousand. It's a hell of a turnout. It's mad how volunteer reliant these big events can be. You know, heavy metal music festival will be full of volunteers who have basically volunteered in exchange for a free ticket. 
Not sure how much time they have to put in for that, but they'll do a bunch of shifts over the weekends just to be able to see the bands without dropping 100 or 200 quid. But what really gets me is the fact that motorsport marshals the volunteers. You know, you've got these multi-millionaires racing their multi-million pound machines and they can't pay the marshals. I just feel like Formula One marshals should at least get paid. Sold out before the event started. That's an amazing result. Hmm, I guess. I suppose these standard flag wavers might be volunteers so they get to watch the race for free. I understand that, like, lower rungs of motorsport definitely wouldn't be viable without volunteers. But F1, it's money. Hmm. I suppose the same argument could be made for festivals. You got these headline acts at, at absolutely raking it in. And there's a volunteer element at the bottom of it. That sounds awesome, Trap. No, no, rightly should be proud, mate. I'm all, for, I'm all for people bigging themselves up a bit. You know, lots of people do awesome stuff, and we're all a bit too. Uh, we can all be a bit too coy about sharing that. Dozens of arcade cabinets and pinball machines, library consoles and games, three stages of music. That's a huge event, man. Probably go for the McLaren for the extra speed here.
Oh yeah, old monster, sector one chicanes. They always catch me out. Especially since I was racing this track on a set of course the other night, so. Go on, Shadow. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not, not giggling at you, I'm giggling at the gravity in this arcade mode. Oh, you said that you, they'd be high-pitched squealy. I mean, they're not disastrous, are they? Do you think? Yeah, they don't have the piercing quality of the V10s. The pitch is probably about right. <laughs> this it when I was trying manual gears earlier though that wasn't the case until I got into six the automatic gears actually upshift you quite low but I, I noticed with the manual that the actual gear selection didn't really seem to be impacting the actual acceleration all that much so it was just an unnecessary complication, so I'll put it in the bin. Yeah, I think AI might be running higher revs. Or it could be what Trav, Trav has said. Hello, wall. But nowhere near the red line on the the rev uh, dial. positions, two laps to do it. <laughs> oh no indeed. Who should it be for the uh, championship season? And why is it Mr. Driver One Williams? We don't have Pedro. Well, we have a Pedro, but we don't have the correct Pedro in this one. But I think it was this year when he was in Japan doing the Japanese GT championship. Should be Frenson. Maybe. Yeah, I think uh, Pedro de la Rosa's first season would have been 98. Oh, 
arrows or Tyrrell, one of the bat markers. <laughs> oh. I'm in a curious place where trap where I've been getting into certain motorsport series because of playing them virtually. For example, I've been paying more attention to IMSA because I like to do that series in iRacing. Ah, oh, so Arrow swapped one Petro for another. Herbert in 97. Might have been in... Stuart. Oh no, Herbert Sauber, yeah. Stuart was Barrichello and... Ah, piss, who was it? Just gonna have to have a look, aren't we? Hold on, let's... Supoib! We've completed the medium level. And a new high score. Now, try the hard levels. Credits. Have a look. So, Benetton, a lazy burger, Sauber, Herbert, and Larini. Yeah, we know that. Hannes and Nakano at Prost. Truly and Katayama at Minardi. Schumacher and Fisichella at Jordan. Barrichello and Jan Magnussen. There you go, Shadow. Hill and Diniz, correct? Yeah, we know that. Verstappen at Tyrrell with Mikasalo. Ah! <laughs> What track's that at the bottom, guys? What did I say about Ida's name? Adelaide, exactly. Oh, the Tyrrell X-Wings. Let's look more into Jim Carner. That's there. Uh, more trick stuff, isn't it? They had Jim Carner. Was it. What, which of the. Was it Dirt 3 and Dirt 4? That had massive Jim Carner mode. That with Ken Block stuff in there. Dirt 3. Kind of got in the way of the racing for me. <laughs> So this is another one they've shoved in because they had it in the original F1 game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to complain a bit when the tricks games come up in this challenge as well. <laughs> A hairpin there. Um, it wasn't accelerating. I didn't think there was damage. <laughs> We're away. Weirdness over. 
Yeah, skateboarding with cars is an apt description of Duke Jim Carner for sure. Uh, well, it's different strokes for different folks. Uh, what we've got here, Travis, a lot of people that were into racing for the racing rather than the tricks. So what happens with, say, a game like Dirt 3 is that they filled it with Jim Carner to, because, you know, they thought it'd be cool and to try and get, like, the kind of Tony Hawk's crowd into the game. But those who just want the racing kind of get gate kept by something that isn't racing, and that's frustrating. Yes. You know, like I wanted to do rally, and I couldn't do it until I got a million trick points or something. Yeah, I think that was '94, Shadow. Don't get me wrong, the videos Ken Block used to put on YouTube and he'd like close off a city for a morning and do ridiculous Jim Khan around it. They were a great watch. I don't think I ever got around to playing Dirt 4. I didn't complete Dirt 3, I gave it a good go. But I was trying to gold everything and failing, so... Yes. I think this game's penalizing me for fucking up the hairpin. It takes ages until I get full speed back again. Just rude, to be honest. It's not a track I've raced a lot, this one. I think the only other game I've seen this in has been uh, Tocker World Tour and Cars, which was game two. Ever be able to get good? Why not? What are, you, what are you even defines good in this con contest? Because if you're playing in single player, generally just needs to be good enough, don't you? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think I'll take a restart on that one. Okay. I mean, those platinum ones in particular, depending on the game, can often be exceptionally difficult to know that... Like, for example, if you're wanting to get all golds on uh, Gran Turismo license tests, that's, that's no mean feat, you know, and it's difficult to do. I when I played Gran Turismo 2 I went for all golds on on the license test and it was really tough some of them and as you can see from the comments not everyone has a good time with it I 
Well, top 25% online is a good result because you've beaten three quarters of people. <laughs> This is the thing, in a 1v1 game, or a team v team game, let's say Rocket League for example, you should expect a good amount of wins. But when it's an online race, only one person wins out of what, 10, 20? You know, win, wins are tough online. Don't, don't make me look up my win rate in iRacing. I've done o over a thousand races online in that. I think I might have won 20. Really low ratio. There's always, there's always someone there <laughs> who's better. Yeah, well, particularly with iRacing, it does, you know, skill-based matching. And I'm good enough to usually just about sneak into the top division. And there's always some absolute alien there ready to... Oops. Ready to absolutely put me to shame. <laughs> Again, of course, Shadow, you'll know that when it actually comes to longer form or online races, ah, God damn it. Uh, sometimes if you haven't quite got the pace, but you're in the ballpark, there are other ways to win. My preference... Uh, I'm not a fan of drift, but I do like because drift tends to be again point scoring. But either off road or on road, I can have fun with. I, I do better at track based racing, based on my re recent rally experience on PS1 at least. One shallow sounds good. Okay, nearly got that chicane down. circuit this I think there might be some QA junk in here because the car seems to be bottoming out at certain sections you know if it was just shoved in from the previous game that would check out <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> I mean, if you, as long as you didn't take anyone with your shadow, <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to make mistakes. Third. Do I really want that third at the bottom of my list of first? No, no, I don't. Sorry. I'm being anal. That's just a mistake, isn't it? As long as you didn't take anyone with you, nothing you can do to penalise you for it. Right, where's this hairpin, is it? I think it's at the end of here, it's at the end of here. Break before the checkpoint. Oh, maybe not. Break on the checkpoint. I still hit the bloody wall. I'm probably going to continue straight on to hard mode with this rather than coming back later. With the two different handling models, it kind of makes sense to stay here while I've got my eye in with the drifts. I've found out what it is. Certain areas of the track here are behaving like off-track surfaces. That's what's killing my pace in certain places. Yeah, it's towards the end of the lap. There, there is an example. There's like a brown strip in the middle of the track. And it's like you're driving through dirt. So I can find another one. Really should, Trav. It's, it's a disgrace, to be honest. We've got one here. There we go. Here. There's one. You can see the dust being kicked up by the tyres as well. So I'm just going to have to avoid that. So when I go through it, it kills my momentum. <laughs> Uh-oh. Damn it, Paul. Sloppy. Thank you. Good timing.
Keep it tight on the right there. Not great for setting up that corner, but it's not a problem. Alright, come on, what's the top five? Let's have a good lap. It was in Tocker World Touring Cars, at least. Seeing Lotus Challenge, maybe PS2 chat. Oh. Grid 2 wasn't great. It was fine. But I never I never went for a second playthrough of it. Such a shame because the first grid was absolutely brilliant. Hmm. Go down the middle with the stats. I'm going to try the Ferrari. Now, I went, to be honest, I went into grid after a couple of years of not playing racing games, so I was, I was ready for it. Absolutely rinsed it. <laughs> Grass seems pretty fast though. Too late, too late, too late. It's fine. Come on. It's 
fine. Just a little airborne. Still good. Still good. But yeah, it was lap four last time when I absolutely threw it in the bin. Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, Michael launched himself off Damon's car. Lonely lap four, but it wasn't the disaster of the previous race. The top five just must be routinely checking out. That's pretty bad. Accident, of course, yes. I mean, if it didn't clip the Jordan, then. Huh. Hmm, I'll leave that there. That's probably badly tuned. Let's try hard mode. All right, I was just thinking then, how many teams from this are still going now? And, I, and I'm not including Stewart becoming Jaguar, becoming Red Bull. Williams, McLaren, Ferrari, Sauber. That could be it. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is. All right, let's check. Prost gone, Minardi gone, Jordan gone, Stewart gone, Arrows gone, Tyrrell gone, Benetton gone. Yep. I did mention Ferrari. Ferrari, Williams, McLaren, Sauber. Four. I think I did. I was sat there trying to think of another, uh, and I was under the impression it said Ferrari. So I at least thought of them, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Tyrrell, became BAR, became Honda, became Braun, became Mercedes. Minardi went on to become RB. Stewart went on to become Red Bull. Benetton became Renault, then Lotus, then Renault again, then Alpine. Arrows. Arrows just went, didn't they? 
cross just went. I'd say two full goings. Jordan and now Aston Martin. Yep. So. So was it 11? It was 11 teams this season. So that was four have stayed. Two have completely gone. So that's five reformers. Right, cool. I can count for that. Mm, yeah. Yeah, four, five, and one. And we're losing Salva soon, aren't we? I, I don't think, like, Audi have, are doing a full buyout, so. I'd say that's Salva completely gone. So it'd be one less. So it'd be three and six in Haas. Formula One team. They're currently the kick Salva. For a couple of years, they've just been known as Alfa Romeo. <laughs> yeah, because they were all... Well, when they were BMW, they still retained Sauber in the name, didn't they? It was only when they were Alfa Romeo when they went... ...fully unbranded as Sauber. Mm. Yeah, but they, they kept the word Sauber in the same way that Williams is still called Williams. Although they're now entirely owned by Dalton Capital. Alfa Romeo are back to being Kick Sauber. Kick and... Wait, what's the other? What's the full name? I don't know. I just call them Sauber. Stake F1 Team Kick Sauber. That's the bastard. to anyone. Exciting season. <laughs> now, that is genuinely the worst F1 team name of all time, Shadow. Yeah, but it's still pants. I mean, with a name like that, it makes me think that, you know, the new Red Bull leadership don't want a team. That they're not sure what to do with it. They don't have a purpose for it.
But what are we thinking the future of Haas is? Right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, Alpha Tauri made sense at least because it was one of their businesses and it was a half decent name and they had some nice liveries. And the current livery just looks like a Red Bull from Wish. Oh, there's an epic difficulty. There we go. There's our Monte Carlo. <laughs> you know what, if I can finish arcade mode tonight, that'll be a nice progress. And then pick up the uh, championship on Thursday. Oh, you know, hairpins are troublesome with the drift model. We've seen that. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be pretty fun, probably. Oh, ah, I'll take it. <laughs> Very forgiving there, game. Well done. Not interested in your track limit tickets. Not interested. <laughs> that awkward bit here it's just on the crest isn't it when a championship season is underway shadow can you remember if you can change difficulty level on an in-flight season at all I don't want it to be too easy, but I don't want to wall myself either. Yeah, I, th I think difficulty tuning for an in-flight save is a bit of a modern convenience, isn't it? Go one above that then.
<laughs> now, I've got a Hareth in eye racing, so I should hopefully be okay on it, although I've only raced it a few times. See how much it's changed. So that Hareth and Esther really were in F1 2013 with the classics content, wasn't it? But those two, Brands Hatch and what's the other? Is it Magni Yeah. Uh, 2013 was a decent one. Like I say, it had Brands Hatch in it if you got the Classic Edition. And a bunch of uh, classic cars. And Murray Walker was in it, introducing the Classic Challenge mode as well. Yeah. Great minds twisted. Yeah, I was ready to skip 13 because I just, like, I had 11 and 12. Then they announced the classics. It's like, well, I'm just going to have to buy it now, aren't I? What have we got next? Spa! I didn't bother with 14, A, because, as I said, I was already ready for a break. And 14 didn't really have anything in it, apart from the fact it was the new cars. You know, there was no extra fluff. There was the career mode, but it was the same career mode as the last handful of games. And 15 was terrible. And then I bought 16. At 15 was the first game on the next engine along, wasn't it? So it was a bit undercooked. Honestly, properly working brakes are going to be such a shock when I move on from arcade mode. Mm. 
pack the back of him. No chance. Perfectly cromulent move, isn't it? I started breaking at the same time as that AI. It didn't help that I tagged it. Yeah, I wasn't stopping. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, when all the stars aligned until it broke down. Oh, nearly. <laughs> nearly did the ultimate. The source drift. No tire advantage, no, I don't know what you're talking about.
Anyway, this should be the longest race of arcade mode, so we got this out of the way now. That's good. Looking forward to having a go with that with proper brakes. That should be fun. Mm. <laughs> They're not for stopping, these arcade mode cars. Right, into Lagos. Ah. Okay, it's championship style points for your finishes. It's a target. Of... Oh no, is there a target? Hmm. Might be in the manual. <laughs> yeah, we we found epic mode, I think, while you were away from the stream skin. Shadow, think about what you've done. Apologize to the class. <laughs> oh, look at that lens flare. Whoa. Yeah, it's like I've got the arcade handling, but all the AIs are still using the breakpoints and turning circles of the other modes, I think. They're not drifting. Yeah, I tried to do a cockpit mode. It doesn't exist in arcade. I'll, I'll, I'll cycle through for you. Hold on. Get a nose cam. Hit the beach. <laughs> Anyone here been to Brazil? One more with the drifting. Yeah, it's a good point now. Good point. <laughs> you no. Know. If games count, then the answer is yes for everybody, which renders the point of asking moot, because I'm one of everybody.
Yeah. Brazilian circuits. Max Payne 3. And some... Well, not simulation, but rendition. Is it Sao Paulo in that game as well? well what else? I think there was a Brazilian favela style map in COD Modern Warfare 2, if I remember correctly. Not a lot of representation, actually. Football grounds as well. It was either Rio or Sao Paulo, I think. Unless they made up a city. Oh, I didn't... Is that referring to COD again? Because I didn't play through the single player. It's Sao Paulo, okay. <laughs> well, the capital is Brasilia, isn't it? Like, not even on the coast. Doing sub one minute laps there. I think normal that's a what about one fifteen. I can't remember. Probably a bit more. <laughs> right, one more of hard mode. Off to her left. With my willies. Guns. A hairpin at the end. Oh, uh oh, that's your okay. cane. No, no, flat out version, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. No chicane. I mean, the chicane was there, it just wasn't used. <laughs> it's 
shitty rejoin. What's the hungry one again? Oh, my, uh, mine was World Grand Prix 2000, wasn't it? Might not have been in that one. Stop flipping the AIs. Oh, really? Jesus. It's pretty out of date. <laughs> Twice in a week, Navis. Exciting times. How you doing, man? Hello. This time is actually quite low. That is the first time I've heard a top uh, ten second tick. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I have been off to the barrier multiple times in this attempt, so maybe not be so surprised that we're running a bit tight on time. There's no AIs to get tangled up with anymore, so I should be fine. Decent, isn't it? We've heard some that we've had in the challenge. Did I say off? Yeah, I did. Cheers. Um, what does it do? Went for a walk. Shockingly, I often do. Yeah, I went suit shopping and failed, so I had to come back home and order one online. And then I spent some time on iRacing. And I had another go at uh, GT Sprint Series. <laughs> uh, started 25th, finished 6th in 5 laps. That's good. And also did my first laps of Mizano in iRacing. Can you better your best laps? My problem, actually, skin, is that I'm too short for normal human clothes. I, I needed a certain waist size with a certain length, and they didn't do that combo. I put in all that practice, Navis. I felt 
like a bonus. Anyway, putting all that practice, I felt like I needed to make use of it. Does that look familiar? Mirrored again, maybe? Is that a mirrored spa? That's a mirrored spa. All right. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. Okay, so it's a bonus track from Formula One that got mirrored. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is not Mirrored Spa. I was way off. It's a fantasy track. It's the shape of an F1 car, apparently. Or the outline of one. I mean, they had the assets, so why not use them, eh? Piss. <laughs> That's why I'm wondering about them doing them in reverse. Was that a cheat to get away from the licenses? I'm well, not reverse, mirrored. I'll show you the other bonus tracks after this, Navis. See if you can recognize them. Mm. Yeah, I, I, well, I can only speculate. New iRacing track, awkward, and you can take massive, massive liberties on the curbs. It's not looking popular either. Piss! I might have wasted my dollars. It's in a set of course competizioni if you've got that. Damn elevation changes. Second. 
Where's the checkpoint? There. No! <laughs> Early. This, ah, the weird Suzuka. Yeah, that was a bit jarring, that, wasn't it? Of course, he got, he might have been really sneaky because it's just bonus content. He might have, like, just flicked through the track so it's not there. It's fine. Let's have another go at Sunob. Oh, no, no, I need to show. There we go. Adia. <laughs> Although, have they, have they even reversed the map there? They haven't. That is just the map. Makes it even more confusing when you drive it. And turn one to left. We'll have a look at Eddie Alida. Is this map reversed? No, I don't think they've reversed the map. Oh, no, no, they have here. Oh, no, they haven't. No, they've not. They've not. They've not. Have they? Anyway, Adelaide, yeah. And then, yeah, I see it. F1 car, yep. Sure is, Skin. Sure is. I have another pop at this. If I don't pass, I'll just move on to the epic difficulty. Ah, oh, that's misleading. Yeah, it did. I don't think we've seen it again since, have we? Yeah, yeah, that's a point. Original F1 game will have it. I say original in PlayStation context. Just because it doesn't have a number on it. It's just called Formula One. Leading bit. 
I'll forget it next time. Got the OG F1. I'll decide when I see the driver list. I'm not even sure who's in it. Ninety-five season, probably Damon Hill. No, not Johnny Herbert. Uh, who, who, who faces Johnny Herbert? Really? I'll tell you who. Johnny Herbert. <laughs> oh, that's me told. Can't believe Johnny Herbert watches my stream. Ninety-five Schumacher's teammate at Benetton. Because Verstappen was ninety-four. Oh, it was Herbert. This is Herbert that year. And I am throwing this race in the bin. Stop distracting me. Look at me blaming chat again. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a little scuffed. It's still good. Still good. What happen what about what happens with your V books if I was in the lead but I run out of ch time and time out? Is that just null and void? There you go. <laughs> so okay, your fifty V fifty V bucks are safe. What odds did you get? <laughs> what the fuck's a Jonesy skin? <laughs> All right. Time for Le Difficulty Epic. I wonder if there's another bonus track after these three. I've not worked it out, Shadow. Might need to find a scan of... Scan of the manual. I've got a fucking manual. Not the bastard, am I? Let's have a look. Quite a thick one as well. Languages in it. Languages. Colour pictures of all the circuits. It's pretty cool. Arcade. Difficulty screen. Page 32.
Choose arcade mode from the main menu and another menu featuring arcade or time attack will be displayed. Pick I can send in the card for uh, Psychosis Fan Club. Difficulty screen. You will notice that the circuits in arcade mode have been graded into three sections. Jokes on you, I already know there's four. Easy, medium, and hard. There are five circuits in each section, given a total of 15 circuits. To progress within each section, players must finish in the top six. So you need a top six in each one. The remaining three circuits are hidden in a fourth section titled Epic. To gain access to this section, players must amass enough race points in the other three sections. There are no limits to progression other than your own driving skills. Right, so enough points unlocks Epic. There's the disc as well if you want to have a C. Oh, cool, isn't it? What condition's this in? It's a bit dark. And lightly scratched. There we go. Manual. They did ruin the surprise. I thought that. Yes, I can show you Shadow, because I cheesed the fuck out of this as a kid. Hey! Probably the easiest track in it. That. But we know there's more. Then you've got this. <laughs> oh, and this one as well. Five shortcut roads. Let's do a drive through for my sins. Full speed pit road. Hey, we might need to note that. That could come in handy later. <laughs> we might need that at Monaco. When I played my cousin's copy of uh, F1 World Grand Prix on his N64, I tried to take all the shortcuts, and on that, the off road tarmac just slows you right down. He just lets me go, Why are you driving off the track? You don't know, man, you don't know. Have they? I don't see a warning flag. Ah, long time ago, man. I don't remember. <laughs> oh no, not landmines. So sure enough of them in World Grand Prix 2000.
Yeah. Not buried in a curb or on the apex of uh, the Schumacher S. I, start, I, I started having to drive offline through there just to be safe, didn't I? Yeah, I only cheated on one lap as well. But yeah, the manual said they've only graded them by what they perceive as circuit difficulty. The time limits have been a bit more stringent as we've got on, but yeah, it's never been a... The only track I've struggled with has been Reverse Adelaide. Well, not Reverse, Mirror, Mi Mirror Adelaide. I might need to go back for another go to complete the set. Yeah, true. Got it, let's go. Right, I'm going for a full cheat lap here. Let's see what lap time I can get. <laughs> Arcade mode, it's okay. You're allowed to cheat in arcade mode. Come on, go, 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 go. I uh, beat a 45 second lap. No, how have I done a 45? What the piss? Oh no, it's best time for the sector. It's fine, fine, fine. Oh no! Oh, the bat marker. No. <laughs> that, that could have been a 10. That could have been a 10. I think uh, only the F1 games have uh, Melbourne, don't they? I don't believe I've ever seen it outside of an F1 game. Unless it's a mod, you know. Like a set of course or a lot of it, it has everything. This should be nice and quick. Press the stick with a reverse look by accident. Yeah, guy needs a break for that. Mother Hubbard.
<laughs> Just cornering on one rear wheel. Brilliant. to go. Yeah, no single drift for both of the last two corners, I'm afraid. There's too much of a gap between them. Airplanes are a lot easier when can you just cut the apex through the grass. Reminder in case anybody hasn't who wants to, votes. This one will be coming to an end after this game's finished, which will probably be last next stream, so run out of opportunities. There's a close battle. Between games two and three. Game one has lost. We've known that for weeks. <laughs> I'm feeling lightly confident, Skin. Skin voting for the leader. Mm, interesting. <laughs> hey, maybe he just really wants to see some road rash jailbreak. Yeah, well, who are you to tell him what's a good and a bad boat? <laughs> Are you sure? You never know. I can make heavy work of some surprising things. <laughs> and we'll find out soon enough. I would like a game that I could beat before the end of the month, though, so I stay on target for the year.
but that's just me with my goal of 60 games for 2024. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, it's skin. Thank you for the warning. Oh no. This is where I miss my bedtime, isn't it? It was more like initial D. Oh, this is gonna suck, guys. This handling model and these track limits. Let's try. Let's science the shortcut. How's the exit? Ah, oh, it's reasonably open. But then I clip to another car and just fired straight at the wall. Oh yeah, Monaco this weekend, isn't it? I'm gonna miss the Grand Prix. I'm more worried about missing the Indy 500, but you know. A wedding. The car just drove through the fence. Hmm. Okay. Who's going to cause chaos? At Monaco. Right, who's desperate? See, Stroll's checked out mentally. He's not desperate enough to cause a pile-up. Logan Sargent's too worried about crashing to do something that desperate, even though he's that desperate. Um, Magnus and Ye's whipped with the penalty points, in he? Gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going through the drivers in my head. Ah, oh, this is Ocon. Ocon this weekend. He's going to go hard in turn one. He is going to do heroics into Sandbot. Imola. It got interesting towards the end. Edge of my seat, that, those last few laps. It's okay. Yeah, it was curious as well when Leclerc was catching Norris, and I thought, right, yeah, that's. Probably it, but then that turned on its head. And it went completely the other way. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, same. 
It's always a lot more exciting when, when there's a fight for the lead, isn't there? Oh my god. What's with these wall bounces? I'll take that. I'll take that. Mm. Shortcut. Yeah, you can take that exit at full whack. It's fine. Ridiculous. It is pot luck when you make contact with the other cars. Sometimes you just bounce and retain control, and other times you just go straight on. With wall bounces as well, sometimes you just gracefully bounce off, sometimes you'll stop. I never played Shift 2, so no. <laughs> Coat Dessert. That's usually a common alt. France! Ah! Amazing. Pits. Ah, top two are gone. <laughs> You're at sex and sorry, on sale for Xbox. Oh, got four other games. <laughs> oh no. Oh, look at these old retro games on the PS3, Grandad. <laughs> Supoib, you've completed the ethic levels. OK. 
Okay. No bonus track for the epic mode. Anyway, let's see if we can get a win. Yeah, no, I, like I say, I never played it. Ah, the first shift, I think. Eh, whatever. I didn't play much of it. Formula D. Fuck off. Oh no, it's already 11 o'clock here, skin. Um, the champo mode will be Thursday. At least this isn't a multi stream arcade mode. We'll count our blessings. <laughs> yeah, but I've got work in the morning, mate. Eh? And I'm already tired. Champo would be a good, another two hours at least, wouldn't it, on five lap races? Probably close to three. Oh, perfect size chunk for another stream. Fuck. Menu needs a restart button. Is there a McLaren in 15? Well, there isn't now, but you know. I'll take that. Yeah. 
Okay. This is fucking ridiculous. I didn't say I didn't like it, I just said it was ridiculous. Ridiculous things can be good. that. Much better than grinding to a halt. Can look back on the stick. I should just uh, unbind it in the uh, emulator controls if it continues causing me trouble. I have an alternative on the pad down anyway. It's all going to shit, I'm choking. It's okay, it's fine. Better check the flag properly. <laughs> Wait. So that only leaves on arcade mode, unbeaten. That mirrored Adelaide. I'm going to have another go. I'm not going to say I'm definitely going to beat it. I'm going to have another go. Oh, this was, for an arcade mode, this has been pretty painless. Reasonable amount of fun. About what I'd expect it should be. <laughs> oh, we have unlocked another track. The bonus for a full set of wins. 60s. Old Silverstone. Ah, oh, mate. Let's have a look. <laughs> the physics are a very silly Mick Pliskin. Hello, by the way. In fact, Skin, I'd go one further and say it's even older today. Yeah, we're about just wrapping up on arcade mode now. The Champo's going to go to the next stream. <gasps> oh, mate, look at these! I never knew!
Yeah, I think it, it looked like the same layout on the map. Yeah. And it's got a big screen there. <laughs> Didn't have many of them in the 60s. Certainly not in colour. Oh, they should have put a, like a sepia filter on or something. looks that way from the color scheme. Of course, these ones aren't even licensed. They're just coffin-shaped cars. Look at this color scheme. I'm glad I went for another bite at Monaco, that's for sure. Yeah. Fair to say they didn't spend a lot of time on this skin. Every time. Okay, one more. It's a bit easy, this, wasn't it? Holy God. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. That was the bonus. That was a fun little surprise, that, though. Very pleased. Let's have another little go at Adelaide, though. Adelaide right now, skin. Unless there's another bonus hidden behind that bonus. I doubt there is. Nope. Is he a leader? Now, I, be, I, I never played arcade mode as a kid, Shadow. It's not just you, mate. Don't worry. Always, always straight to Grand Prix mode. That's what I was in it for. That's it. We're fine. You know, I think I might need to go for the McLaren for this big back straight. Yeah, Psygnosis, it became Sony Studio. They got bought up by Sony, didn't they, and become the Liverpool Studio. Uh-oh. Buttons. And now that, that's since been shuttered, hasn't it? So it's just gone, gone now.
Mm. Oh, I, I have a lot of fond memories of Psygnosis from the 90s, for sure. Oh no, I'm too late there every time. Got away lightly there though. Excuse me, Jordan, I need to get off the dirt. Thank you. Oh, I've got all of the Colony Wars games. I love them. All three of them. Never traded them in. I did it. <gasps> Nearly fucked it. <laughs> there we go. Arcade mode, hundred percented. Oh, I was mi missing there. Peter Co, welcome in, mate. I never played Shadow of the Beast. <laughs> yeah, easy. Bunch of firsts, bunch of firsts, firsts. Yeah, wasn't too bad that. It was a fun handling model, if a little scuffed, for the arcade. Well, you could see that for yourselves. You don't need me to tell you that. But, you know, the, all the bonus tracks there were, were a fun little addition. So far, so good with that game. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the vote before we go. I'm just going to do this off, off screen. So we've had, oh, this could be decisive. We've had two votes for Ducati World Racing Tour, putting it up to 46. However, Road Rash Jailbreak has had six votes tonight, taking it from 47 to 53. Oof, seven vote lead. Get them completed. Any of my friends on? Nah, I'm sorry, Shadow. You, you'll get your Ducati at some point, mate. Unless there could be a wicked comeback, of course. Nah, no, no, no raid tonight. Cool. Right, so, yeah. For those who were waiting for me to start Champo mode, really sorry. That's going to be Thursday. Oof, another vote. The comeback begins. I do hope you didn't vote for Jailbreak as well today, because I've already cleared those votes, so I can't double check. <laughs> I don't know, Skin, who would be so mental as to vote in such a chaotic manner? None of my viewers, for sure. Yeah, Thursday night, we're gonna do championship mode. I think that'll be a one-shot mode. And then I'm gonna call F197 done. The vote will conclude at that point and we'll find out what's won. So if you haven't followed the channel already, guys, go on, go on, do it. Believe in you. And for those who want to hang out while I'm not on, not live, there's the Discord too. So have a great week, guys. See you again soon. Good night. <laughs>